How does DEET affect the growth and development of zebrafish embryos? Here we go. Make sure to have your notebook ready or some paper to write on. Hello, young scientists. Today we're going to look at our day one embryos for our DEET experiment. So before we get started, I'm actually going to go ahead and put together our microscope um, and we'll kind of you may be familiar with it. You may have used one of these before or you may not have, but I'm going to go ahead and put one together and then we'll get started. Microscopes help us to see things that are really small up close. A zebrafish emerald is only about the size of your pencil lead. All right, so now we should be able to go ahead and get started looking at our embryos. So here we have day, uh, this is gonna be the control group. And again, we are taking measurements for day one. So here we have a single embryo uh, that we have a pretty good close-up image of. And I am going to try to get it even closer and see how, um, how well I can see it and try to get the best picture possible. And then I will show you all of the images and you get to go ahead and write down and collect all of the data. So first off, um, I'm gonna, I will try to improve the image a little bit and see if I can get it so that I am I can see it really really well and so you can kind of see the embryo on that screen And now what you're gonna wanna do is measure the yolk sac and the yolk sac size. So before we even get to that, I will actually take a calibration strip similar to this. And I will, uh, I will calibrate the microscope so that I know exactly how, uh, how big the yolk sac is so that I'm able, uh, I know the exact measurement. So in order to, the, to do that, I'm going to place it underneath the, uh, the Petri dish. Why do we measure the yolk sac? Measuring the yolk sac tells us how well the embryo is developing. Control is for comparison. If the treatment is different from the control, it may mean that the substance is causing an effect. Okay, and so now that I have calibrated using the three points, um, we are able to take our measurements. So stay tuned and make sure that you write these down as I show you on the screen. Okay, so that was the control group, and now we're going to look at our low treatment. A 
Okay? All right. Write these down for uh, as you look along with me as I show you some of these images. And finally, this will be our high treatment. So this is going to be the largest amount of DEET and you'll have to go ahead and just again write these down and see if you notice anything. Are you noticing if the embryos have their yolk sac be smaller, larger, or about the same? You may not see much of a difference on day one, but kind of keep it in mind. See if you do see any differences between the pictures that I showed you from the control, the low, and then the high. Notice how the yolk sacs on these ones are short and fat. Does this seem healthy? is going on with this black stuff? It's a fungus. It spreads in the petri dish after some have died. This one is still alive, but it may be in danger. This embryo is no longer alive. See how it turned all black and doesn't show any parts anymore? So here I am going to go ahead and take our day, um, our control for day three. So we're going to be looking at those first. Okay. And then you'll have to follow along on the screen with me as I take these measurements. This is what fish like when they hatch out of their chorions. What's happening here? It's hatching. Another one is hatching. See the chorion still around its head? That was pretty exciting, wasn't it? Did you expect to see what you saw? Were you expecting them to be so big and swimming around? And Or I guess you can't really see them swimming around from the pictures, but just seeing the fact that it's a little fish. 
Um, I find that to be very surprising every time to see them grow so much in just two days. So that was the control. I hope you wrote down the yoke measurements and saw a little bit of a difference from the, um, the very first day that we took those measurements. And now we are getting ready to do the low treatment. And again, think about what you are, uh, predict what you are going to see, and then kind of keep that in mind as we look at these next images. Notice how the shape is a little different in these ones? Do you see the red thing hanging down low? This is usually a sign of a heart defect. This heart is closer to the chest and the yolk sac is more round. It looks healthier than the last one. That was the low treatment and so far what are you noticing what are you not noticing what was surprising to you um yeah there's there's so much that you can go ahead and observe and then we're gonna look at the high treatment for uh the DEET experiment about this fish's tail. Once again, this heart is too big and too far outside of the chest to be healthy. Notice the shape of this yolk sac. Is it round like the others? So that was that was our high. Was that surprising to you? Was it not surprising to you? I I mean, I did expect some of them, um, but it was interesting to see how it, it really was quite different from the control, don't you think? So I want you to now go ahead and look at all the measurements and see the actual differences, and I want you to come, uh, come up with a conclusion. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for following along this week, and I really look forward to working with you again. I hope you learned a little bit about uh, runoff and uh, how us humans are impacting the environment and I hope that you really enjoyed looking at these embryos. So yeah, thank you again scientists. Until next time.